she makes it all the way to the front door on her own. The 15-year-old Nin Wu Yi from Yangon suffers from cerebral palsy, a brain disorder contracted in early childhood. She cannot walk on her own. Still, just like other children in Myanmar, she attends school. The rickshaw driver picks her up every morning. Fridays, she visits the Eden Center for Disabled Children, the place for which she is so grateful. The day begins with singing and dancing. 140 kids are currently under the loving care of the Eden Center. Most of them suffer from Down syndrome. Back when Yi was admitted at age three, she couldn't even sit up straight. No one believed that she would ever be able to hold a pencil. Two operations were unsuccessful, but Eden's physiotherapists were able to help. Today, Yi is even able to write. The children are fostered through play and education. The first exercises in reading and writing take place, and there is a therapy pool for kids with a wide range of disabilities to get help moving their bodies. The goal of the Eden Center is to give disabled children from poor family a chance, a qualitative service, so that they can be integrated into normal society. Institutions like this that provide assistance to children with disabilities are virtually non-existent in Myanmar. With the aid of the Hapul Foundation, the Eden Center has been promoting the integration of kids like Nin Wu Yi into regular schooling by organizing the transportation, supporting the teachers in how to deal with disabled kids, and by making school buildings barrier-free. The Hapul Foundation make it uh, possible for us for children to attend regular school, be with their peers, be in society. The switch to normal school was no problem for me. I like English the most, and I want to study IT later on. Nei Wei Yi is one of the girls who come here when Eden was started. So she, was, uh, she has a widowed mother, and uh, the mother sells vegetable, and she looks after her. In the past, Yi wasn't able to get dressed on her own or prepare something to eat. Thanks to the help from Eden, today she is able to do this. I hope that someday Yi will be able to take care of herself and to live her own life. The physiotherapists are afraid that Nin Wu Yi may never be able to walk without assistance, but maybe on crutches, if she practices a lot. Still, thanks to the Eden Center, she will be able to finish school and even study someday, and she may even get her own place. That is her biggest wish.